people deluded i'm back again as i consistently tell you lot becoming a professional footballer is a very hard thing to do people see these professionals with money and think that it's an easy journey and they've got an easy life um signing a scholarship two-year deal after leaving school obviously year 11 if you're in, in in secondary school here in england um is the first beginning to being a professional footballer many people get complacent when they've signed a scholarship training full-time especially at a club like arsenal and sometimes arsenal spurs some people i've seen sign scholarships they're now just doing nothing really with their lives so it is really cutthroat and people don't understand how tough it is to be a professional footballer people i'm happy to see that zach swanson and mark mcginnis two players primarily playing for our under 18s have signed pro deals now the hard work still goes on many people who have signed pro deals youngsters at 18 there's there's um, specific statistics and data around this many young players that sign pro deals 17 18 are out the game by 21 22 and it's, football is tough, man, but you've got to celebrate the small victories. And to be honest, I'm very happy that Swanson and McGuinness have signed new deals. Firstly, let's start with McGuinness. McGuinness, I like him a lot, man. He wears his heart on his sleeve. He's a very decent defender, in my opinion. Only 18. Just how far both players go is down to them and down to God and, what's all, and all them things. I'm not here to say they're this, that and the third, but I like him. He's no nonsense. He's kind of an old school defender. Decent ball at, the, at his feet. Love scoring some thunder headed thundery sort of headers from set pieces at under 18s level, and he's come a long way. I know last season, if I can remember correctly, or was it this year? Within let's just say the last 18 months, he's had a lot of injuries, and it's been a tough time and it's been a frustrating time because, like I said, these players that have signed pro deals, they're fighting to, I mean, scholarship, they're fighting to get a pro deal, they're fighting to prove that they can have some sort of future at the club in the short and long term because why would the club give you a pro deal if they don't think you can contribute to whatever they're trying to do at any level? And you can see how frustrating that is. He's not able to participate. And obviously, if you're injured, you're not able to settle and show what the best you can do in training and the match. Um, so I'm happy to see it, man. Very happy. I know he's making inroads in regards to his international career as well. So it's nice to see. He's only 18 and the hard work starts now. But few people deserve it more so than him, to be fair. And to be honest, now you're just waiting. For me, anyways, I'm waiting on Ben Cotterill and Vontae Daly Gamble. I'm fingers crossed, toes crossed, anything that can possibly be crossed cross that did them to get new deals because for me Cotterill like you saw against Spurs like you've seen many times this season bunch of positions playing consistent always one of the better players wears his heart on his sleeve and I think I believe them things there should be rewarded in it whether the club issue him a pro deal I don't know Murta Saka and them lot they know what they're doing in it so I'm just as a fan I hope both of them get deals Vontae Daly Campbell I've listen how many times have I spoken about him I'm not going to go over the same things he's just a good right back and he's going to make a decent right back somewhere else if not here would love to see him sign a pro deal and Swanson, I feel Swanson, he deserves his new deal, man. Like I said, prim primarily for what I've seen this season, he's been playing at fullback, specifically left back, and he's quite well there. Good technical ability, good first touch, decent going forward, sticks to his task, quite hard to beat, doesn't let his winger embarrass him. And playing with consistency. And again, I'm not watching these players in training, but he's probably training by the same logic, with the same effort. And it's difficult to make it at Arsenal. Of course, whether I've seen him play central midfield, I'm so sure he's played centre-half before, left and right back. Um, it's difficult. It's, it shows that he's a competent and very knowledgeable player because he's able to play in different, different positions and play it well. And that's... Apologies, spat there. <laughs> um, he's able to do it well, people. Um, but... That, um, and obviously you don't want to be a jack of all trades master of none so as he gets older we have to define himself in a certain position but you've got to look at it professional football if he was a professional footballer now let's just say he's 28 and he's in Arsenal's first team his position for this example is irrelevant but let's just say his manager whoever it is says Zach I need you to play left back he's able to do it well because he's an intelligent player and he's able to perform there it's about giving your manager whether it's at youth level at first team the confidence because that's all football is football is about opinions and and confidence if a, if, a, if a manager has confidence in you that you can go and do a job he's going to play you whether you're good or bad or whatever he has the confidence in you that's his opinion he thinks you're the best thing since sliced bread equally if, you, if you're good and someone thinks you're poor you're never going to play so you're never going to show yourself 
Um, the challenge for both of them, again, is probably to step up into the under-23s next season. I do think there'll be a lot of first-year scholars coming into the under-18s. And obviously, I think a couple of players will be let go at under-23 level. But there'll be a lot of competition for places. And the next step for him is to step up into that. Because I'm so sure he's technically a second-year scholar. So he'll be ineligible to play at under-18s level. So the next step is the 23s, Lomberg's 23s, excelling at left-back and making sure he's the first name on the team sheet. And if he keep, if both of them, in Mark and Zach, keep playing with the same consistency that they've been doing at under 18s level as has the whole team then you never know what they can what they can do man it's well deserved for both players because they've been playing quite well at under 18s level as has every anyone that's featured at under 18s level to be honest with you again Ben Cotterill and obviously Matt Smith got his pro deal as well um who signed one as well I'm so sure who else Matthew Dennis, I, I'm so sure he signed the deal, I could be wrong, someone else, Oli Inka signed the pro deal, so the club is rewarding these players for their, their well Oli Inka's primarily 23s now, but you're seeing what I'm saying in it, the club are rewarding the consistency and the, and the tenacity and it's good man, and for them players that haven't been given a pro deal, it gives them motivation, for the prospective first year scholars that are still schoolboys, it gives them motivation because that's what you want to do. As a schoolboy, you want to get into a pro club. When you're in a pro club, you want to stay there. When you when you get to under-14s and stuff, you're thinking of the under-16 season because you're looking at scholarships now. Of course, it's, it's mainly at under-15s, but from 14 years of age, play, clubs are looking at realistically who I'm going to give scholarships to. So you're fighting towards that. You get a scholarship, it's your first inroads into being a professional footballer. You go from trailing at Hale End in Walthamstow, for those who don't know, to London Coley. Obviously, I don't know how the arrangements at, at London Coley work, but you more or less at times probably will brush shoulders, whether it's in the gym, on the pitch or whatever, with the first team. You're obviously going to see... When the whole stuff around the first team is going on, you're going to obviously see the journalists and all of these things. You're going to see an Uno Emre. You're going to see him walk past you at training and the coaching stuff. So you're going to, that's your first inroads, training, training every day, feeling like a professional footballer, seeing the professionals at work, seeing how far you've got to go. And it's also about, because you're training every week, it's about consistently training and playing every week and almost every day to the same standard. Um, it's very, it's very, it's, that's very hard to do and it's very underrated. And also it's a very big physical challenge on your body. So they get through that. Obviously, you want to, ideally, the second you turn 17, you really want to be getting the pro deal and pushing into under 23s. But you've got two years, some people get an extension on their scholar and get three years, but you've got two years to try and get that pro deal. So ideally, at 18 years of age, like Zach Swanson, I don't know how long his pro deal is for, but he signed a pro deal. Now the next step is, like I said, um, and McGuinness and anyone else, step up into the under-23s, play with the same consistency, play with the same um, work ethic and be the set first name on the team sheet. Obviously, kick on, try and kick on into the first team. Obviously, I don't know the duration of his contract, but try and extend it, try and get a better contract. Make sure the club can, can't think of the future without thinking of you sort of thing. And it gives the young players talent, um, pros um, possible, the ones that haven't been given one, um, possible possible inspiration sort of thing man like I really like Alfie Matthews I hope he plays a lot more next season as a second year scholar I back him to get a pro deal if he plays games because I think he's got ability man but he need he needs a chance to show it it gives someone like him motivation because I think he could be sitting in that space you lot can't see it but I'm actually looking at a picture of Mertesacker and Zach Swanson you know how Arsenal do it with the pro deal thing so it's nice to see man it's like like I said man it's nice to see man He's made 21 appearances, apparently, at under-18s level. So that kind of collaborates what I've said in that. He's been more or less a permanent fixture and playing quite well. And like I said with McGuinness, man, well done to him as well, man. And well done to anyone else who has signed new deals. My fingers are crossed for Ben Cottrell and Vontae Daly Campbell, like I said. Fingers are crossed that actually Amici gets an extended better deal as well because his contract actually expires next season. There's an option of another year, but it actually expires next season. But yeah, man, I ain't got nothing more to add, man. Just well done to them two lads. It's, you lot know I love young players. We all love Arsenal as well. So why not? People deluded. I'm out, man.